Martin Kumbis uh, is out on a special mission, you could say. It's the first time since 2015 when I started this have happened. Uh, it can be any sort of reason for this, but eh, you don't know. I can't get a hold of the guy. So what have happened is uh, Tuesday I rented out my snowblower, the Honda, for a guy. And uh, yeah, since then it's I haven't heard from him. And today it's Sunday, so that took quite a few days. I sent him some messages. He hasn't answered on them. I tried calling him. It's going directly to voicemail. So yeah, I don't know. But luckily I know where the snowblower is. So today we are on our way to pick up the snowblower, and hopefully we can uh, find it because you never know. There can be something else, but. And uh, sadly, the snowblower is uh, around uh, 45 minutes from my home, so it's quite a trip to drive there. So it's two hours of my time I need to use and go and get the snowblower. So that's too bad, but it is what it is. It's better to get the snowblower home than just sit home and hopefully wait for it to show up. So, but as mentioned, for all I know, the guy is on the mountain, the snowmobiling. Uh, dead drunk in his cabin or whatever, I don't know, but I ain't taking any chances, so I will go get the snowblower while I still know where it is. So, so that's what we are doing today. So, let's just enjoy the beautiful view. Uh, this was the last day with sun up here in north, northern Norway. From now we have two months before we see the sun again, so it's pretty be beautiful scenery with all the colors we get now. So. I will turn the camera around and uh, let's look at that. Then we are at Skydi. Uh, I just checked my map and it's supposed to be here just one minute ago. So hopefully we find it on first try and hopefully it's just snowblower and the trailer in the same place. That would make everything a lot easier and hopefully we can find the guy that rented it from me at the same place. So we can, for all I know, he has lost his phone or run over the phone with the snowblower or yeah, there's many possibilities. It's not said that it's something wrong, but I think it's it's better to be safe than sorry. Uh, with the trailer and the snowblower, it's probably around eight thousand dollars, something like that, or eighty thousand rounds. So yeah, now we'll soon see if we if we are in the right place. As you can see, it's a lot of cabins up here. left here it should be and there is nothing here okay that is strange I took a quick look at the parking space just went off the, out of the car and looked and see if I could see anything there but nothing to see and you should see a trailer and a snowblower pretty easy so I figured out maybe there is something wrong with the GPS tracker or something like that and uh, it has some error or something so I just took the car and drove around where the cabins are just to see if I could see the trailer or the snowblower or something okay then we have searched everywhere for the snowblower nowhere to be found so yeah 
that's strange. My tracker says it's right here, but I can't find anything here. And uh, yeah, that's very suspicious. So I guess it's nothing left but report it stolen, probably. So after I have searched a while, uh, this is the area where the tracker was last located. And as you've seen, we drive right here, but couldn't see anything. And then I was driving around uh, this place and looking if it was some error. But now I found this. Here is the tracking unit and the battery for the snowblower. Everything is cut off and uh, left here. So my snowblower and trailer is stolen. So now I need to go and get the bag so I can uh, get the battery and take it with me to the police tomorrow. Okay, so I have now been talking to the police and they told me to put everything in a plastic bag. So I will use gloves and here is the battery. It's the original battery for the snowblower. And I've been at the gas station picking up plastic bag. And then we can bag it and tag it. Isn't that what they say on the movies? Mm -hmm. So. There it is. And you can see it's blue so it's still working the tracking unit. And I've been mm -hmm. tracking it here all the time. So. No wonder it didn't move. Oh, here is the plastic that is under the battery. Some leaves, probably from the trees around. Nothing more. Well, luckily I have insurance on everything. And hopefully it shouldn't be any problems. Well, tomorrow it's to the police station and report it stolen. Alright, so today it's Tuesday. Uh, we were searching for the snowblower at Sunday. And as we've seen, I went out of power on my cameras there, but... And stuff got a little bit hectic when I found out that my snowblower with trailer was stolen. Uh, as we could see in the video, we did find the battery with the GPS tracking unit on it and it was still transmitting because we had tracked it there. Uh, yeah, the thieves had, did a good job uh, disconnecting the battery and everything without sending any messages about the GPS tracking unit uh, losing power. So, but uh, it was 45 minutes from my home and when I was done there, I went home, I took the battery with me in a plastic bag as the police asked and took it with me home and when I got home I made a Facebook post uh, where I was uh, asking if anyone seen my trailer or snowblower and yeah, stuff like that. Uh, this post got yeah uh, shared a lot of times on Facebook and uh, I made a post around 6 or 7 o'clock in the evening and around 10 o'clock in the evening the police called, they had got a tip that someone had phoned my trailer with the snowblower on uh, around uh, four hours drive from where I live and uh, it was hidden in a camping uh, place be be between uh, campers and stuff like that so so uh, when uh, the police called and told me that I found it I called a tow company uh, they went out for uh, collecting it and taking it to their lot and securing it there and Today on Tuesday, and uh, in my Facebook post when I found it was uh, when when it was found, I updated it and told uh, if someone is going this way, just let me know and you have a spare hook for the trailer. And uh, some guy contacted me on Monday and was like, "Yeah, I can take your trailer with me. I'm going there pretty soon." And it was like, "Great, perfect." And uh, today is Tuesday. He just called. He's pretty soon in my hometown and uh, I am now on my way to pick up the trailer with the snowblower. Of course there are some damage to the snowblower after they have cut the battery out and stuff like that and I haven't seen it so I don't know, I've seen some pictures, I will put them up in the video here. Alright, there it is, home again. It's 
quite a snowstorm here right now so the weather is pretty bad but yeah everything looks pretty good I can see the fenders on the trailer has some dings here and there and yeah of course the battery is is gone from from the snowblower and uh, yeah else it doesn't look at it like it has been used in at all so that's pretty great so tomorrow is just delivering it for the shop and see what they can do about it and make everything workable again and hopefully when the weekend comes we are back in business We can see here that the teeth just cut away the battery so uh, this is the positive wire cut off and this is the negative one cut off and the reason they did it was because I had a GPS tracking unit on the battery as we saw when I found it and uh, they cut it off so I would believe that the snowblower and trailer and everything was in the place they said it was supposed to be in. There it is, my snowblower is now home from the shop. They have gone over the snowblower and checked everything that could be wrong with it. And they have checked the trailer. So everything that was stolen is now home. The snowblower is still waiting on a new battery and the trailer is waiting for some new fenders because they have dinged up the fenders on it. So my insurance will, will cover everything. So that's pretty great. And now it's, yeah. Just a new battery now and it's ready to run so that's really nice and uh, as you can see it's pretty icy out so it's not much use for the snowblower right now so hopefully it will get some snow soon it's soon December 